Okay. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm back. If anybody's listening or watching, I'm going to finish up this guy. Well, I don't know if I'm going to finish, but... Okay, so... I'm going to see if I can move the... Um... Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm back. If anybody's listening or watching, I'm going to finish up this guy. Well, I don't know if I'm going to finish. I gotta turn it down. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> well, I almost got the uh, I almost got the reference photo in there. It's kind of out of the out of the picture, but that's okay. All right. So here we go. Um, I. What I'm going to do now is take off the masking fluid. I did just a little detail in here, but nothing major. And now I'm going to take off the masking fluid because that's going to kind of really make a big difference. So I have all I do is I just have artist tape. And what I'm going to do with the artist tape is you're really not supposed to use our fingers to take this off because of the oils right on our hands hand lotion whatever not supposed to get on your paper so supposed to use tape anything but you know your hands but that's you know if you don't have that much i wouldn't worry about it it's actually a lot easier i find to use tape anyway because you don't have to rub you know, and pick it up. I kind of just find it's easier with the tape anyway. So, so this is all pretty dry. I did a little blue right here, but it's dry. So this, you know, really gives the painting a nice little pop too. When you have a lot of, when you do a lot of white and you preserve the paper. But I got a lot of painting to go. I mean, this is nowhere near done. So, but I do want to try to keep it loose. You know, I really don't want to do like a ton more, but I'm kind of doing very like light, um, fine layers. So it seems to be taking a little longer than I expected. It's not as loose as I thought it would be, but now I'm just kind of feeling, I know I'm putting my fingers on it now and I'm not supposed to, but Masking, this masking fluid's been on for for a while, so probably like a week, so it's kind of on there. Okay. All right, great. Okay, so I'm going to get his belly here, and then I'll probably get the branch. Um, just kind of see where where it takes me. And I'm kind of watching the chats, so if you want to say hi in the chat, let me know where you're watching from. That would be kind of fun. Uh, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like his belly right here, and he's got that cool shadow of his wing, so I'm going to definitely go darker. Do like a dark shadow right under there. That'll look neat. And then I'm going to lo lo loosen up this... Uh, blue here so it blends into the color of his belly which is kind of like a sepia it's like a whitish sepia cream color of his belly there's some areas that looks really white over here so i won't do too much but so i'm going to do the wet on wet technique here um i'm just going to touch the tepia up uh, that that the sepia I'm going to do a real wet mix here and then just tap it in there. This is, tends to be like a real brownish. It's kind of really pigmented sepia here that I'm using. Just kind of trying it out. I got it from the um, 
from the show. I got it actually at a color pencil show. Um, but they have a lot of watercolor uh, supplies there because a lot of color pencil artists use watercolor for base coats. I know I do. So what I'm going to do now is I want this, this feather here, his last feather here. I just turned it upside down. And I want to kind of push it down a little bit and save like a little white there at the edge. So, because if you see the reference photo, which I know you can barely see, it's up in the corner there. I'll figure it out one of these days. Um, there's like a little white edge of feather that's kind of defining the feather. So I'm going to keep that and just blend it into the top of the feather here. That should work out okay. Turn it back around. Then, uh, yeah, so leaving all that and then, okay, so sorry, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. This is his back, so I'm going to just kind of do. This is a base coat, so it's like the lightest coat. So I'm going to definitely do another. I'm going to drop in some darker colors. Um, going to drop in a little bit more of the sepia in here, get it a little darker. So this was, you know, like different values. And then that cool shadow there. I'm going to let it dry a little bit more before I do that shadow. Uh, but this little feather I'm gonna add a touch of I've been using neutral tint here for the feathers I love neutral tint there all right well let's see that should work out um when it dries I'll do a little like finer line there for just a touch more definition, but that's it. You know, again, I'm trying to keep this loose, but it's been a while since I painted a bird, and I think I'm kind of overthinking this a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so this was, he's got some really cool kind of spindly little feathers here that are really thin and wiry almost kind of going out. So that's what I was trying to do with the with the um, masking fluid is just kind of represent that. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of my yellow orange. And while it's still, while it's kind of wet, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit, try to get some suggestion of feathers there and it's a little darker right than underneath I'll just use like more of an orange this is actually a new gambage and then the um, sepia maybe right next to it bit of white there and then it kind of goes out and get a little spindly that way so you know I really just kind of want to do a few little details not too much at least right now and then maybe soften it up with a little water this will give Hopefully, kind of like the roundness of his belly is what I'm looking for. And then it gets kind of dark right in here, which is good. A little shadow gives it some depth. And then, uh, okay, so this sepia on his belly is drying here. So let's, uh, let me soften that up a little bit. Maybe I can make some little spindly little feathers. Okay, 
Okay. And there you go. Remember how dark? I don't know if you watched the earlier, but this was really, really dark earlier when I uh, had, the, had the water on it. It was so dark. And it just really lightens up. That's why I'm never really too afraid to go super dark, you know, with watercolors. I'm mixing uh, the new gombage and the sepia. And since it's so much darker, sometimes I can do this, like get a few, um, Try to get some, what am I trying to say, texture with the brush. I'm going to try it on a scratch piece of paper first. So, kind of like that, maybe not. Yeah, so if you kind of push your brush down, and so all the like the little brushes, that's kind of good. You can kind of see it um, are kind of scattered. You can get like a little texture effect, which helps with fur. Good in this situation you, where you need like a, some feathers, just any kind of texture, right? Any kind of anything than flat. And then I'll touch more sepia. Okay, and then the great thing about this, if it's I don't like it. I can just put like a splash of water on it and soften it up and it'll be fine. At least in my eyes, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not looking for perfection. This is really kind of like, I haven't done a bird in a while. I'm really just kind of messing around. I want to practice my YouTube live streams. I want to do them more. I kind of miss, um, I miss my painting classes. I'm going to start doing, uh, in-person painting. So if anybody's watching that used to do, that used to take lessons from me, I'm going to start uh, my in-person lessons again. Beginner's watercolor, that sort of thing. So suburbs of Chicago, that's where I am. All right. I don't want to mess it. I'm talking. I don't want to mess up. So like I said, if I didn't like it, I get too much detail, I just add a little water, soften it up, put a little more yellow over it, soften it up. There. And it's going to look a lot different when I have all the detail of the eye and the background and the branch. There's so much more detail left to do that a lot of times um, when this maybe looks too detailed, when you get all the other detail in, it looks a lot better. I'm just going to leave all that right now. Uh, let's see. Anybody else watching? No? Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's, um, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of focus on his head now. Ooh, I got a drop on his beak. I'm going to focus on his head now. I see a little yellow splash. I'm going to just do a little splash of yellow. Little splash of yellow right there. Happy yellow, right? Uh, Bob Ross, happy yellow. Maybe even a touch of orange. Because I can always go over it again with the gray. It's too much. Now I think I'm going to get my small brush. And remember that earlier Remember that um, Bob, no, Bob, somebody, what was the color of that? Davies Gray, Bob. Who's Bob? Okay. Davies Gray, which I had somewhere here. I think I picked it up. A little bit of this Davies Gray. I don't know. I'm not totally crazy about it, but it's kind of easy just to do because it's a nice color it's really close to the bird so it's just kind of easy to do just to grab it instead of making my own so 
pretty with a little bit of pain scrap or wait, a little bit of um, neutral tint. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little brush and I'm just gonna, and then probably when I'm done with this, I'm just gonna splash a little water on it. And let's see, it goes to about here. I have my pencil about right there. I have a, just a really faint pencil line on there that I'm following. And he gets a little dark up here. Let's give him a little, a couple of little dark, some contrast. Little Payne's gray. And then I may just, like I said, I may just add a little water. to soften it up. What I do is I rinse my brush out, I just drop a little water right in there. Soften it right up. And just kind of leave it. Uh, let's see. And then, okay, so this, let me finish up his eye. Could almost use a watercolor pencil. It's not round. So I'm trying not, I'm trying to make it, you know, not perfect. There we go. And then I put a little blue color on the eye earlier. Okay, so now the black, he's got that little black. That kind of goes right up to the eye, right about right there. And then, okay. And then the white here is a lot, it's like a, just a small little round, small little white section under his eye. And then he's got this little tail of gray and they all kind of connect. So I'm going to cover all that. There we go. Rinse that off. I'm going to go back to the gray and my brush. Okay, I'm going back to the gray. All right, so there's that. I'm going to save some of the white around his eye. Now, I usually, when I do pet portraits, any kind of animal portraits, I usually really like to have the eye in focus. You know, it's just, I think, I think I covered a little too much white, but you know, it's not, who's gonna see the reference photo, right? No one's gonna see it, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I usually like to kind of have the eyes in focus, the eyes looking really good, you know, because I really think like a lot of people, a lot of the viewers, you, know, you get a feeling when you look at something, especially an animal, you look at the eyes, right? You look at anybody, you know, you look at the eyes when you look at something or you know, an animal, a human, whatever. And uh, so I like to have some kind of expression or something in the eyes. All right. So that's, you know, that's probably enough detail. I may go in with colored pencil or watercolor pencil, maybe do a little detail later. Um, whoop, didn't mean to do that. I'll just give it a blot. It might be a happy accident because I, I kind of did want it to soften it. God, I got a lot of water on my brush. Okay, a little happy accident. Just tapping it with my towel. Oops. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go a little darker. I'm trying to get like some. I think it's just too wet. I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. Trying to get like some, um, 
He looks like he has eyelashes. I think he just turned into a girl. Okay. Use this one. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to let it dry because it's kind of spindling out. Kind of looks cool. Uh, then I'm going to use another brush to get the grays. And just kind of blend out a little bit here. Trying to get some kind of structure in this area right here now. You know, now it's about getting some kind of structure. So looking at the reference photo, he's got like little, well, maybe I should have my little smaller brush. He's got little spindly little feathers kind of coming out here. And I'm going to kind of maybe even do like a little, this is maybe wet on dry, little wet on dry, just to get a little movement maybe of his, of his neck. Okay, good. I like that. I think I have to touch the blue. Touch of a little extra blue because it's looking so neutral tint ishy, like a little neutral tint color, and then okay, okay. Now he's also has another kind of area for like. To give him a little 3D look, not so flat, is he's got a dark, like his neck kind of, his neck feathers, if you will, um, are kind of dark right here. So I'm just using a really light color right now and just kind of outline him. And then it goes, it kind of follows right into here. So kind of overlaps the yellow feathers a little bit. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go a little darker this time. I'm going to actually add, I think, a touch of sepia. Whoops, that's not sepia. Touch of sepia. A little darker. Let's see what that looks like. Just to kind of say, okay, this is his neckline, and he's kind of turning a little bit. The shadows in his feathers. Rinse. Drop some water in there. I don't want it to I'll soften it up. There we go. Okay. And that's probably that. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of let all this, well, there's one more like line, which is basically these feathers right in here are darker. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do these feathers right in here. I'm going to do a little wet on wet. I'm actually going to do it kind of blue because I see blue. First thing color I see is I see that blue. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to drop a little blue that's not dark enough. I got another blue here. That's what I want. A little blue and it goes right under this little yellow. I'm going to probably redo that yellow there. But again, I don't want to get too much detail into this. I kind of feel like I'm already over it. Oh yeah, I was trying to do this before and it got a little muddy, so I kind of picked it up, but let's see, like a little sepia, just drop a little sepia in there, and then try to make some feathers, you know, because there's like a whole nother row of feathers right here, and they're actually... I actually like go like that. So I'm 
Just make another whole row of feathers there. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, it's kind of fun spending my afternoon talking. I feel like I'm teaching again, even though I'm pretty sure I'm just talking to myself. Don't think anybody is watching, but that's okay. Somebody will watch in the replay, and if you can leave a comment, <clears throat> even if you're watching in the replay, <coughs> excuse me, that you liked this, <coughs> excuse me, a little water. That would be great. That would be fun. And then I'll make more and I will get better at doing birds and I will get more warmed up. <coughs> Sorry, I get a tickle. I will get more warmed up next time so we don't have to do. I don't have to do two takes, three takes just to get it right. I think that's probably enough. Let all that dry. It's looking a little funky. All right, I'm going to start with the background. I need all that to dry. Like that. Oh, that looks cool. Little cauliflower effect right there. Kind of nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh darn it. Okay. I know. I can't stop. Okay. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I can blend. That's a great thing about this paper is just because I put it down, the color down, doesn't mean it's there to stay. I can move it. Move it around, pick it up. It's awesome. I love this paper. This is, um, I'm on the Arches Hot Pressed. So I'm really just playing today. But now let's get the branch in and his paws, right? Okay, so... Clean water and the branch is like you know it looks like it's a birch but there is a pine cone on there birches have pine cones no it's a pine and there's pine needles but it's the color of a birch it's pretty it's like a whitish it's like a gray so I'm just putting some water down and I'm going to go right over his little paws because they're kind of the same color as the branch and then I'll just do some detail like really light detail there we go okay so that's looks pretty even I'm going to use my bluish gray and then do like kind of a cool, I got to find and to create a cool texture. Whoops. Getting late. I got to find a cool way to do texture. I have, I, have uh, I think maybe just. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a branch down here. I was thinking of doing the pine cone, but oh my gosh, now I don't know. Um, I need something here. Let's do this branch first. So I'm going to go up. I'm kind of following the reference photo. I don't know. Okay, so that's branch branch one and let's just to kind of represent these little nodules in the I'm going to grab the sepia again just to touch and just do some little dots right Kind of wiped off my brush there, so my brush is pretty dry. OK, 
Okay, let's get more of a shadow here with this blue. Oops. Love this blue. I think it's a Prussian blue. I can't remember. But mixed in with the um, neutral tint. Such a pretty color. Makes for a nice shadow underneath, right? The shadow underneath the... Uh... Okay, and then shadow here for the branch. There's always like a little change of color. And then let's get a little different color here. All right, all right, now little different here a little too much so I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm gonna go right in the middle and hopefully the paint will push right to the to the sides of the branch and that'll look kind of nice so I'm just blotting my brush with my tissue and we can go a little Since it's so wet, it's so damp, I'm just going to drop it in there. There, that looks pretty cool. All right. Okay, great. So now uh, I'm going to get a little brown. Well, I'm going to probably do the sepia again. And uh, just because the other, you see how the other ones really just, they dried super late. So, and then this is a pine. I'm going to do some little pine leaves right there. And it's still damp, so I can get kind of a nice little blended effect with these guys. But I'm still going to. Still gonna blend them in a little myself, even though you know they lighten up so much when it dries, right? Watercolor about 50% later, so just for a little contrast, you know, really just to kind of get on the branch there. And uh, let's get the branch a little higher right there. go just a little bit his foot's right there so I gotta I'm gonna wait for that to dry it then I'll do his little his little paws his little feet get the branch down here now let me get my smaller brush and I'm gonna do some of the pines I gotta grab a green here and I'm gonna get some of the pine cones right up in here so hang on one minute I don't have my green ready You can always mix the green, right? Or you could use watercolor pencils. So I was using, um, I have this. Oh, that's a little brilliant. That's too, I have a moss green in my watercolor pencils that are, it's really a nice green for, for like a natural one. But okay, I'm gonna get my small brush. Stand by, getting my green. I'm probably going to use a little yellow too, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so, and I like to kind of test it out first, right? Before I probably add a little water there. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to do just, and I have a little, um, from the masking fluid, I have a little white there. I'm kind of going to put the green right next to white, the white. And let's see, dipping in again. Try to get some curves this time. And then I'm going to turn because I like the one that's kind of right over his head. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I know I put it a little too high on the, <laughs> on the screen. Oops. But um, I got, I'm getting a, my finer brush. 
and then they kind of go up, up, up. And I like I like this one by us. So up, uh, and then okay. So they're all kind of like in clusters, like coming from the same little knot. There we go. And I don't want to do too much. I don't want it to take away from a little birdie. So, you know, just getting some for now. Just getting some for now. I like to hop around in the watercolor. Hey, I keep this paper is just so absorbent. You got to have a lot of water. Yeah, I like to kind of hop around in watercolor. You know, while this area dries, you do another area. While this area dries, you do another one. So now I'm going to, I added a little neutral tint to my brush and just get it like a little darker at the base. Just to kind of make it look a little more realistic. I don't know. All right. Getting a little more green and. Maybe in camera, in camera. Shoot. I think I am. So, getting just a little more green. A lot of water on this one, so it should be a little lighter. I'm, I'm holding the brush straight up and down. I'm trying to let's get like some random ones there. There. All right. I think that's kind of good for now. Just wanted to get like an kind of a idea of what it'll look like with that there. Um, probably can start on his his little paws now. I think maybe I'll do some pines right here. I'm gonna do his his little paws first, and then I'll see what I want to do. I was thinking of doing um, a pine cone, but I don't know. Sorry, let me. I have to. See the camera make sure I'm in camera because I'm on delay when I look at the screen so it looks like we we're good okay so for his little paws I'm grabbing my Payne's gray here with touch of neutral tint and less is more for sure so I have like a drawing I can barely see but that's okay so I'm just kind of following my drawing and um, I'm kind of just getting his knuckles in. Get the knuckles in first and then he's got a long nail claw, whatever you want to call him. And I'm using a lot of water, especially at first, just so I get like the outline. Kind of like the feel. And then let's see. And I'm going, instead of going straight, I go, I make like these little, I know that I've done this before and this really helps me um, with making there. And then this one goes, so this nail, a little claw, goes all the way over there. And then it gets a little thicker. there so yeah so more just like a suggestion darker towards his body because this is the shadow of his body and he's got three three fingers in the front here so I'm going to do one more over here and you can see my brush is kind of I only have like five hairs on it <laughs> which is kind of awesome for this fine detail stuff and I'm hoping Hopefully I'll, I'll can zoom in if you can't see. Kind of hold it up. Maybe you can kind of see. I can maybe go a little tighter and playing around with my camera a little bit. There we go. I hope that's in focus. Um, so let's see. So then this one. 
And so his leg, that's what's missing here. Okay, so let's get his leg. Like that's supposed to represent his leg. And then his back claw kind of wraps or is wrapping around it. And then it goes up. So that's just the first layers. I'll probably have to do a couple more little layers, but the nail or the claw is pretty dark and they are sharp. So I'm going to make those a little darker. I think if you kind of get the claws, like the suggestion of the claws, it's kind of, you know, you kind of get it. So patches there and then that's going to dry a lot lighter so now this one's a little easier because we got his whole leg to work with so that's kind of why I didn't want to do a lot of detail on that one just like suggestion and then this one I do a lot of water I got a lot of water on my brush I have a pretty good pencil drawing here I'm following I'm kind of losing it right here though mm. yeah okay and then this is a uh, I'm gonna use a different color for this part I don't want to use this color this is oh let me see this is pretty dark that's a little too dark that 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 um, I see I put a little knuckle there a nail right here his claw is right here his other one is right here I know this is probably not the most exciting so if you're watching you're like an angel watching <laughs> I hope I'm helping <laughs> so I know this is not the most exciting but I'm just kind of getting this suggestion of that. I mean, let me get a lighter gray. I wasn't crazy about that color. It was too dark. So let me get, and then I'm going with a lot of water to lighten up the color. And I'm going to go just like right in the middle and just kind of literally connect the dots. Just connect the dots. And... Here we go. A lot of water. Connecting dots. Okay, and then this, like for his like little elbow up there, I'm gonna use like the little bluish color I have over here. No, that doesn't look very different, but and then there. There. That one looks pretty good. That one I'm not so sure. I'm just going to let that dry. See what happens. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go and blend in. Take a break from all that. I'm going to blend in this. Let me pull pan out a little bit so I don't forget. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use, sorry if you're getting dizzy, um, let's see there, I'm going to do this way, and this, so this is just wet, this is just water, I'm going to kind of blend in this guy now, I don't want this in focus, so I don't want this harsh edge, I want this kind of background-ish, these feathers. You know, cause in the reference photo, it, it, these feathers are really blurry, so I'm just softening up the edges there. And it's going to look totally different when it dries. So I'm going to just do that. 
And again, I'm going to use probably gouache or you know, some kind of white uh, to, oh, I'm still going to do that to create any highlights and stuff. And I probably might do a little snow too. So I'm going to kind of get this wrapping up here soon. I'm going to grab a little bit of this blue I have here because he has some really pretty cute blue, um, whoops, where did that come from? Water is dirty. He has some really cute little feathers back here that I want to accentuate with blue, you know, like the feathers are white, but the, when you get my gray, that might look better. Kind of like really soft furry feathers back here. So I'm going to try to see if I can figure that out. Okay. Not really, but whatever. Okay. If you're just joining, yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, I'm a little rusty with birds, but this is just the best way for me to get going and start teaching again. Let's just do a little live session. A little live sesh. Okay. And, uh, all right. Oh, okay. We got to, what are we going to do now? Anybody watching? Anybody? How about any comments? Anybody like? Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, oh, what do you think? The chest, I'm not really liking the chest. It's a little too... Okay, here we go. We're just playing. This is just playing. I'm not going to ruin anything because I don't expect much of anything. This is on test paper. So this is why another reason why I'm using the test paper. So I don't you know, put pressure on me to, oh my God, it has to be perfect. I'm using this good paper. It actually really helps just to play when I'm using this kind of sample paper, I'm calling it test paper, sample paper. There. I want the chest to look fuzzy, right? Uh, not fuzzy. Um, fluffy. Full, fluffy. So... I knew going into this, I could kind of, all you gotta do is just drop some water in there and fix whatever you wanna fix. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Softening everything, softening the edges. I hope my sound is better. It was pretty bad in the first live session. I didn't realize that, I'm so sorry. But I'm using a different platform now to stream, so I think I'm getting it down. All right. Uh, I've got the, the there's a, uh, there's a hair in there. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. I think that kind of looks cute. Looks like he has lashes. That was not intentional. I'm going to kind of soften his lashes here around his eyes. Using clean water. There we go. Hope I'm not. Hair isn't in the picture. All right, I'll probably use some gouache on that. Um. Let me just lighten up his beak a little bit, and then I think I'm going to do maybe just a little more pine leaves and then some gouache, like get a little snow going. Just picking up a little bit here. His beak looks a little too flat. You guys who are watching, you guys are going to be are like my founder live people. I wish I wish I could know who you are. I would love to just 
chat or invite you over to my Patreon page, give you a free access to my Patreon page, to all lots of tutorials there. Patreon.com slash Molly's Fine Art. Little plug, little plug, got a plug. Okay, his eye, even though it's like pretty much just dark, you know, what it looks like on the reference photo. It's, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to mess too much with his eye. But this gray right here, like I was saying earlier, um, I really like the eyes to have expression and have focus. So I put time into the eyes, the area around the eyes. But he's looking angry now, so I want him to look sweet. I'm going to probably just, let me see, I have a little gouache right here. Whoa, okay, that looks good. But gouache always, it lightens so much when you put it in there. And I'm going to use a little gouache on his beak, because this is all still wet. So, some highlights. It's going to lighten up anyway. Highlights, highlights. Under his eyes looking okay. I'm happy with that. I'm doing all right there. Getting a little painterly. Maybe a little gouache back here because he's got those cute little feathers back there. Okay, um, let's soften the, uh, this is dry now, so I can soften those up a little bit. And let's see. Let's do a little gouache. These are like the kind of cutest spindly feathers he has here. I don't know if I'll be able to really grasp how cute they are, but like, you know, soft. They look so soft. He looks so soft and fluffy. Okay, and then just maybe a few right down here. Getting a gouache. Maybe just a few right here. Just to kind of like, oh yeah, he's like super soft and fluffy. Okay. Um, definitely some more pines. For some reason, this, this one's kind of bugging me. Bug it. Kind of bug it. Okay. So is this one. There. And then I can put like a line through it. So it looks like feathers when it dries. Okay. Um. Boy, what do you think? I'll just do some pines right there. Screw it. I need something. I was going to do a pine cone, but I don't know. I kind of like, I like the green. I like the balance. I don't want to do another branch. I think maybe if it were bigger, you know, on a bigger piece of paper, but I'm just going to do that. Okay, um, now I'm going to do, let's just see what it looks like doing some snow, huh? Um, sometimes you can use a toothbrush, but I think right now, because I'm going to wrap it up soon here, I'm going to do, just use my brush. Oops, let me um, pan out a little bit. There we go. That 
should be okay. Uh, and then, um, yeah, then I'll let it dry and any other kind of touch-ups, you know, I'll see what it, how I feel in the morning. So here's the gouache I'm using. I just have it in, a, I always kind of have it, this is my gouache palette. And then there's two different gouaches actually. I'm using Winsor Newton. This is permanent white, which is zinc, right? Because there's a titanium one. So there's zinc and titanium. The permanent one is the brighter one. Just I've tested them out. In fact, I should probably do a video on it. Um, the permanent one is is the brightest one. Yeah. So here's. Yeah, here's zinc. So here's it's from another brand, but this is zinc white and gram, and they have a titanium. So there's zinc, but this one is titanium. It says permanent white. It's titanium. So it's a brighter white. I've tested these side by side. I should do a video on it. And uh, it's pretty cool to see, you know, the difference. So here I go, enough yapping. I've got a lot of water. I got, I just dipped in there. I'm gonna, and now I have my tissue. It's obviously definitely too much. I'm gonna stand up and I go up from higher. So maybe the little splashes will be. And you want different, right? Sizes anyway of snow. Now, I think this bird is kind of native to, like, Northern America. And so, they, I don't think there is snow, though. I think I read that, you know, they fly south. So, I don't know. I was looking for a snow bear, but we can call this our own. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't know if that, how that comes across in the camera but kind of okay um i'm gonna just kind of sit with this i think for the night and then i may do some small little details you know in the morning maybe just try to accentuate a couple more of these uh feathers kind of looks like a hot mess right there i wish i could show you i wish i had the um one i did really loose which I was kind of planning on doing for this one, but I don't want to dig it up right now. Um, but yeah, so this is this. This is it. You could totally just do a really loose version of this because you could do the, you know, it's really just a few colors. The colors I did were yellow and orangey yellow, paints gray, neutral tint, a blue and green, you know, not a lot of colors. And like I said, I'm going to definitely do a little more touching up tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I will maybe post it on my social media or something. So thank you for watching. If anybody's out there still watching, thank you for watching. And this is the yellow. I think I called it a yellow tit earlier. It's not. It's a yellow something else bird and thanks for watching everybody I'm gonna go have dinner now